Oh, hi everyone. Welcome to another episode of OMG What That. My name is Jubu. I'm here with uh, Poke. Uh, he's basically gone out on his own. We are at Ulupo Kea. Uh, here in Kailua. Uh, we're gonna basically kind of rush this only because uh, we don't have in a lot of time before they actually close this place. But supposedly there is no um, specific time but the YMCA people are saying that it's supposed to be closed at 8 anyway but once again we're at Ulupo uh, I'm here with Poke and behind me right now for those of you who want to see is actually the Heiau of Ulupo we are currently right now here and we're gonna go down a little bit just to explore the, the place but uh, yeah uh, let me give you a look of Ulupo itself sorry I'll take off the there you go you should see better but this is a Lupo Heia originally was a uh, was a agriculture Heia that was turned into a Luakini Heia during the reign of Ka uh, Ku Ali'i uh, Yeah, this is the memorial out there We're not supposed to go on the hail at all And we're not going to at all Just so you know So, But uh, This is it That's Poke right there Doing his, his, his thing But uh, Yeah, this is the hail From the top uh, it is said to be the second largest heiau on the island. Uh, as you can tell, there are cats over here. If you look carefully, you will see a few cats roaming around. They're guardians and all that kind of stuff. But this heiau itself, uh, at the time, supposedly at the time of the invasion of Kamehameha, was not uh, used anymore. Um, it is said during the reign, once again, of Ku Ali'i. Kualii, uh, he turned this into a uh, blood heiau. Uh, it is said that the blood, the blood and the remains of his people or the people he sacrificed was actually put into the rocks. And then, uh, yeah, it was here. Anyway, let's go further down and just explore what we can see. Um, I wanted to just make sure that uh, we covered this heiau. Um, as for the hauntings that's happening in this location, just so you know, um, it is said that the Night Marchers runs this this part. Now, the there are parking. We're parked outside, actually, uh, only because I don't want to get uh, uh, caught locked in here. But uh, yeah, uh, let's go see the hail itself. Okay. So this is the road to the inner, the bottom part of the heiau. Uh, I'm not going to disrespect it by walking on the, the pohaku, but it is said walking on the pohaku is a very bad thing. When we get down there, I'll actually tell you. But during the day, this is actually a really beautiful place to be. Um, at night, it can be creepy for some. For most, it shouldn't be. But this is the bottom part of the, the heiau. And it's supposedly the largest gathering of pohaku, uh, per what the history says. Uh, there's also rumors that supposedly the menihuni actually uh, created this and uh, created this this heiau for the sake of uh, stuff but like I said at the time of the invasion of Kamehameha it wasn't um, it wasn't used so for a little bit it was actually fairly forgotten but this is shoot. What is that thing up there? There seems to be somebody watching me. I think that's a cat. Hopefully it is. 
Um, anyway, the stories over here in this location, uh, it states that basically the night marchers roam, it, roam around this location and uh, you're supposed to see orbs, uh, the drums, you know, the conch shells and all of those sounds. It's actually being used now as an agricultural heiau, no longer a luakini. But uh, yeah, there's been attempts to restore this to its original, original uh, form, which supposedly has a spring that comes out of this, this stack of rocks. hearing weird noises like wa watching I'm gonna ask for uh, for for entry anyway all right I'll be right back All right, guys, uh, I'm just crossing the, the little bridge that they have over here. In this back area, they're actually using this back area currently to 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 um, make this more of an agricultural thing, not a blood hail like how uh, during Kualii originally had over here. I just heard the clicking. I'm just going to stand right here in this area. So this is like the plant groves that they've been trying to get. It's primarily used as kalo and all that. I'm not gonna go any more further. Uh, I do believe they only want me to stand over here because they're not trying, somebody's trying not to have me go over there. Anyway, I just got this feeling that I shouldn't be going any more further. But this is the heiau itself. Um, like I was saying, originally this is an agricultural heiau. Uh, originally, it was designed All right, guys. Um, yeah, I'm kind of freaking out slightly, uh, primarily because I just heard a sound. Hopefully, you guys actually did. Um, Poke is not here because he's not here as usual. Um, so I'm actually here just to see what we can. Uh, it is said if you come on clear nights like tonight, uh, preferably on a full moon night, you might hear somebody say hello and all that kind of stuff supposedly you hear disembodied vo uh, voices weird knockings and yeah so currently right now i am here at the uh, lupo okay there is something that's uh i'm curious about there looks like what used to be a tree at the base of the the heiau with uh, tea leaf around it. I don't know if there's a, some kind of significance out there. But yeah. Anyway, yeah, I'm at Olupo. Uh, my plan was to probably do a... Uh, spirit box session and all of that but it doesn't look like uh, we have the time to do so but just to give you the history um, based on what i know about lupo it originally was a agricultural hail that was turned into a turned into a a, a luakini hail 
uh, back in the days of Kualii. Um, just for those people uh, on the mainland, a uh, Luakini is a blood heyao, of course. I don't know the extent of what they did, but based on my research, it said that it had the tower, the divining hut, uh, all that kind of stuff. Uh, I am currently right now on the base, the bottom part, the very bottom where they do, I do believe they do uh, dances on. Uh, I've seen videos where they were here and they're doing the hula, so that's what I'm, I'm thinking. But uh, yeah, it's pretty dark. Um, and it looks, it's pretty serene. With the exception of those few sounds that I originally heard. Um, I'm assuming it probably might have been animals. So it's it's and maybe something that dropped. Um, but yeah, this is Ulupo. Let me uh give you a look of how it actually looks from this bottom side. Spin. Thank you. So this is a lupo right now. As you can tell, it's pretty dark. Um, but this rock formation that you see that seems to go all the way to the top, that's how high this is. This is actually, I'd say, 20 feet high of just pure rock. And yeah, it's all the way up there. But that's a lupo, guys. So um, what I originally wanted to do Sorry, my uh, doggle is, yeah. I keep forgetting about the settings, but. Um, originally what I really wanted to do here is set up a, a spirit box session and try to get the Poke's uh, view on what's going on. Uh, Poke's coming down. So the light that you see behind me is actually Poke trying to come down right now. Um, yeah, uh, I'm really just trying to figure out if we could actually do some kind of spirit box over here, but I don't think so. And truth be told, I've already seen one, one thing already show up and I don't want to kind of push the point, but, uh, yeah. So it is supposedly that, uh, you will see orbs, mostly fireballs though at this location um, and it's fairly small the walkway area is fairly small it's not really a hike per se but they say it's a hike I've, I don't know how it's a hike but it, it is fairly down we're in the area where all of the the tea leaf is so and it's fairly dark the problem with what I have is the fact that the highway runs right there so the sounds that you hear are sometimes mistaken. It's like uh, some of the, the the things I've heard. But yeah, we're here. And uh, yeah. So just to give you a heads up, that's pocket coming down. And uh, once again, there's, there's, the, there, there's the tea leaf that's in here. Now there are pohaku in this area. Um, that you shouldn't be stepping on and all that. Now that we're basically introduced you to how the area should look like, guys. Uh, one thing I gotta really, really reiterate to you people when you do come here, even during the day. Even during the day, guys. Um, one thing I really emphasize, like most places that you come to visit, those of you who come here and visit, don't leave anything behind that makes you remember, like, don't stack rocks and all that uh one thing i also tell you guys is don't stand on the pohaku don't walk on the rocks in the first place that's what i'm gonna tell you guys there's a stack of when you first get here it's a large wall of rocks and you'll be wondering how can i actually walk around it or walk on it don't you're not supposed to there's a sign that says don't uh, even when you're on this bottom side there's actually a clean area where you shouldn't be uh walking on okay and basically don't stand on any of the rocks even the rocks that are not part of the the heiau uh 
story goes like i've said in the past that when they're building this they're going hand by hand by building it slowly onto you know they're building the wall um it's so sacred that if you drop the rock you can't pick it up once it's dropped now this particular heiau is said that some of these rocks come from Kualoa. Dude, Kualoa is on the north shore. We're actually on the windward side and southern of uh, the island of Oahu. So, yeah, that's a lot of faith. So, yeah, when you come to these areas, please don't mark nothing. Don't stand on nothing. Uh, don't pretend to be wrapping leaves and all that. Once again... I reiterate that this used to be a Luakini Heiau. I do understand that originally this was a Mahele. Uh, I'm not going to even try to remember what that word was. But it's an agricultural Heiau originally before Kuali'i uh, changed this to, uh, to uh, Luakini Heiau. So, but yeah. Now, they're returning it back to how it originally was. And yeah, don't interfere with the changes that they're, the, they're trying to do. Yeah. So, uh, I'll uh, face you back towards the thing. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm still kind of learning the, the gimbal. Uh, it does have a, a bunch of... Uh, controls that's all on based on clicks so let's see uh how mr poke feels being over here because it, it doesn't I'm, I'm not it feels like it, i belong here yeah and uh, i know some people says well you, i'm crazy because i love the darkness i love to go to places where you can't see anything what's that no oh, i do remember hearing a noise though Why, don't, why couldn't you just go on your own? Yeah, so you send me, yeah? Nope. You're more stronger than me, so Yeah, whatever. So this is an... Guys, just so you guys know, this is now an agricultural heiau. They're trying to make this back to an agricultural heiau. Uh, research that I've done is UH Manoa actually funds this, or one of the colleges funds this. And all the stuff that you see here are all their attempt to bring this back to a a uh a actual heiau not heiau but an agriculture heiau so and it looks like it's tr they're trying to make this also a botanical garden wow what a weird sound what a weird sound that's what i heard right there Now, I'm not gonna, like I said, I'm not gonna go any further. But I am back to where I was. And for some apparent reason, something's kind of calling me to this area. Um, it is what it is. I can see that's where they, they put their stuff. But this is like for Kalo. And as you can tell, there's a, a bench for them to sit and relax. And there's a bunch of benches. But I'm not gonna interfere. It looks like they've they've got to the point where the spring actually feeds the kalo. And on behalf, well, for me, I'd say good thing, good going. Thanks for uh, re, re bringing this back to. <laughs> I hope you guys heard that. I guess they don't want me going all the way down there. But uh, yeah, we're gonna walk back now. Uh, I don't wanna push my luck. That sound basically told me, you know, thanks for stuff, but yeah, start moving. <laughs> so we're back to, uh, oh, we're going back onto the main uh, area, but once again, there's Poke. You heard noises? Uh, not voices. Uh, somebody, somebody ran up on me. 
That's why I turned around. Oh. That's why I'm like, no, yeah, that. But <laughs> there is a way. Well, just to give you, well, I'm gonna turn it around, huh? Because uh, I don't want them just just looking at the ground while I'm talking. Okay, you hear that noise, yeah? Yeah. I'm up there, right? I heard that ting, chick, ting. Anyway, guys, um, it's up there. Yeah. It's up there. Uh, I can't see because my light doesn't go that far. But since we've been here, I've been hearing the the little high pitched ping. Yeah. yeah. And it's I'm a, a, I'm blaming it on the Manihuni because the Maybe. the story says that the Manihuni built this in five days. <laughs> they can, but uh, the reality of the research that I've done, it, they said that it took a few months, mm -hmm. and the rocks came as far as Kualoa. Oh, that's far. Yeah. Kualoa Ranch. Between. Yeah, that's that far. that far. Oh, my God. So, and as for the the insects, I think they're just telling us now to kind of move, move forward, move on. Move away. Get away from here. Yeah. <laughs> Because uh, we're probably we're 15 minutes to eight right now. We're actually for us this is early, early. Yeah. Um, but because uh, uh, YMCA is saying that they're closing this at eight, uh, we're gonna we're we're gonna basically just leave. Um, the car itself. Uh, what we've done is parked outside of the location. We don't want to be caught in here, locked in so but uh we're headed out right now but in this location it is said that you're supposed to see fireballs and the kawaii nui march is like just right there but uh i understand the fireball thing it is said that when you are in a stream or a spring uh, the energies of the earth actually comes out of that spring so every so often the vibrations of the earth will cause a fireball now it is also said that you're gonna hear voices and you're also gonna experience people looking at you. What about what about the uh, ley line? Oh the, this is also a ley line area. We're in the wrong night for it though. Oh okay. Yeah. Um but in regards to hauntings and all that, uh footsteps that I've heard already. Uh I'm hoping you guys heard that because that's why I turned around from over there. Um Smell. What stink? No good. No, it's something else. It's not like sweet potato, but okay, that's good. That's a good sign. Yeah, and for those of you, we're on the basically on the stuff. Thank you, spirits, for uh, allowing us to come and video and keeping us safe from whatever. Mahalo, mahalo so much us here so we're, we're actually going to go up now almost to the entrance where all this stuff is um, but as we do this we can actually I can actually tell you some of the things I've heard that some people that actually experience poltergeist not poltergeist uh, possession in this location because they're not uh, they're doing stuff they're, they're not supposed to be doing Supposedly, some of these people get possessed into feeling angry and all that. So sometimes they actually go and uh, attack their, the people in the party that they're in. Now, truthfully, truthfully, I don't think the Hawaiian spirits will possess you. I just think that uh, normally when you hear stuff like that, um, you get an overzealous person and yeah but here at Lupo I don't see the the stories most of the stories revolve around seeing orbs and uh, spirits and every so often the voices uh, it's like that on almost all of the heiau because we cannot stay here tonight uh, I can we can only really just give you the history uh, if we could 
what we would have done is probably done a uh, a spirit box session damn that these cats are weird it's like makapu they're all like watching us like okay what you gonna do <laughs> here i'll just give you an idea see there's a cat right there and there's another cat on the other side and they look like they're guarding just like at makapu see they get closer it won't run like in makapu and that, that looks like a yearling oh now i see why you, you guys didn't want to run they were on the trees <laughs> But it is said, once again, that when you're here, um, you will hear voices even during the day and night. Uh, you will also sometimes see mists that come from the Kavai Nui Marsh. And then they come up the, the, the area that we're, the, we were originally in. But uh, it is... It is uh, sacred spot guys so remember do not stand on the pohaku do not move the pohaku do not jump on the pohaku don't even spit on it don't put water on it if a pohaku should fall in front of you guys don't pick it up <laughs> so yeah so if a pohaku should fall in front of you guys Never pick it up. Just let it stay where it's at. It was destined to be there. Uh, and like I said, legend says that the Menehuni had did this. Uh, this and this is the second largest um, heiau on this island. The main one is Pu'u'o Mahuka. Uh, and you will know when we go over there one day. But... I've heard other stories where in the middle of this heiau you will see what looks like uh, apparitions late at night so but uh, yeah this is uh, Ulupo heiau hopefully one day we can actually come Anyway, guys, uh, we're just done exploring. Uh, we're about to do a uh, spirit box session, uh, and then I, I'll, I'll do my address at the same time too. Um, we are actually in uh, here. In the <laughs> so. Anyway, we got the ghost radar up too, and uh, Pocket's gonna do the spirit box. I got a worth. So I'm gonna put the obelisk right next to you guys so you can hear. What? No, no, not again. What? Real. You just said <laughs> Not again. Not you again. I think we got King Wheel with us. Italian? I think we got King Wheel with us again. You know what? I should put it on this side. Because the camera's still right off. So, it just said, uh, uh, whole, wheel, and Italian. 
though. No, that is good. That's good. Not too low. This one is gonna make me. Leaf. Is there anyone out here that would like to speak to us today? We are at uh, Ilipo Hea. I have somebody on the right side of me. I'm not gonna hook this up because I'm talking soft. Sorry guys, I'm gonna hook this up because I'm talking soft. Answer. Yes, I'm looking for an answer. Is there anyone who would like to speak to us today? We are currently at Ibuku Hea. We see you. If you think we're not seeing you, we see you. We see you both. Oh, what kind of weird sounds are there? Yeah. No, I know it's not fun. Is, is there anyone who'd like to speak to us? We are in search of answers. We see you. Currently right now, the Avilus also senses you there, even if you're not speaking. So we see you then, and the Obelisk is actually saying that you're there. You guys are in line according to the Obelisk. I don't know what they said over there. Okay. Very. Very? Very. It's an adjective. If you guys need to speak, you guys can speak over here. I know some of these words may not, uh, you guys may not recognize. But according to the Omnis, it senses you. It sometimes sees you. I got an anomaly on the, on the right side of and behind me. So we do see you. Uh oh. There's an anomaly in front of us. Two of them are in front of us. Actually, I think he crept up. And now behind us. We are getting anomalies showing up on the obelisk. We know you're here. Um, if you can speak to us through the spirit box, it'd be a lot easier. Yeah, we don't mean no harm. Yeah, we're not here to uh, antagonize, or we're not here to make trouble. We just want to hang out, speak to you guys, just talk the story. Let's talk to the 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 so we're seeing, it's, it's feeling the change in the atmosphere. So guys, if you're still watching this, uh, we've chosen to do a spirit box session uh, with the obelisk once again. Uh, it seems to work out. According to the obelisk right now, it's seeing a change in the atmosphere currently right now. Uh, I don't know if it's a natural thing or... Uh, unnatural thing uh, we also have the spirit box on just for you guys um, just in case you can hear the obelisk is actually located right next to the, the There's no wind guys, and the tree is speaking. 
it is said that this this halo was made by the Minohini. Um, maybe the Minohini is here. Is there somebody in the tree? Yeah, we're here in the tree right next to us, to the right. It's currently right now nothing. And there is no wind. I do not hear my fellow geckos, so... Is this a capri? Any capri I eat? Nice capri? <laughs> That's Spanish. Sorry guys, uh, we just noticed that the branches, certain branches are moving on its own. Capri? A dark capri is Sino capri is Did you hear what laugh? Same. Same. talking there when we're talking the shirt and the... No, because that one has... I don't know. Sometimes that, that will catch better than that. Okay, the, that's the one. It has to be the one. Yeah, um... We're assuming it's either the Vene Huni or the Kape. Uh, lately, uh, in our little exploration, we've been seeing or hearing uh, a little Filipino-type monsters show up. Uh, we actually took a little drive to Kalihi Valley just to scout, and there was wood songs. And then we were at uh, Kalena Kapuku at the time, and I was describing, well, we were doing Poki was doing a live, was doing something else, and I was describing something that sounded like bat wings. That would be the wakwa, or the tiki tiki, or kiki kiki, uh, right in front of the, the thing. Um, all I ask you guys, if you guys are here, I see you have a, there's an anomaly on the camera. Do not screw around with the camera, or play with the camera guys, I know there's energy, please do not. That take the energy from it. We do not want to deal with another uh, Honowai thing. <laughs> Thank you for showing your showing yourself. Can you speak to us? We know you're in front of us right now. There's two of them just outside. There's two of them just outside of the, the range of the, and then we have one that's on the camera again that seems to be interested in the camera. Please don't pause the camera to turn off. Can you keep talking from here? Yeah, it's easier to talk through the spirit box. I know you guys are here. You guys are wondering why we're here. I'm doubtful anyone has actually seen what we're doing. We know we're there. Obvious basic are the obvious is basically saying that there is a change in uh, atmosphere or electro uh, electromagnetic uh, electromagnetic uh, environment is changing. I keep doing something. Here. I know this is a, a halo. We're at the halo. 
And we know this originally was a... Yes, it is yours. It is your hair. And uh, we know that originally it was a agricultural hair. And Ku Ali changed it to a Luakini. And now there are people changing who's walking around. Somebody's walking around. So, um, the, the, the ghost radar is indicating that whatever was around us is now walking away. Uh, currently right now, I don't know. He said my. Do you understand this is their hair? We just want to talk. We just want to talk, guys. Yeah, yes. We're just still trying to reach back to you guys so you can understand how we feel. You don't see nothing in there. It's dark too. Okay. Look like one light right there. From the, from the room. Oh, from this? Yeah, from the room. Okay, so now that I know it's that then I'm going to need to uh, see the... Uh... Yes, we know you're in front of us. <coughs> you guys, we have an, uh, we have an item, uh, a, a instrument in front of us that actually can tell, you, tell us where you're coming from in relation to that instrument. Um, we periodically see you. Are you interested in the camera? If you want to use the camera, yes, use the camera, but use the, the white light. The light that's on top of it. There's this white box above the camera. If you want, if you want energy, utilize the energy. Once again, guys, just to give you a heads up, uh, we, I recommend that if you do this, you get one of these, the older ones, not the newer ones. Uh, the only thing is, don't go crazy with them, because you guys can get sick. Uh, you're going to totally activate another script box just on the opposite side of the camera, because it seems like they want to be over there and see if they're going to actually talk to us a lot more. Okay. So, uh, for those of you who are interested in what we are doing, uh, just be prepared that we are not investigators, we choose not to. Uh, our goal to why we do this is to some, some, I don't understand by why we need some. But uh, we are here just to see how it's done. I can't say it. Maybe that other point is. But uh, we are actually here to see that a cat. But that's going on. The cat can pass away. Um, we are here to experience and uh, explore what we can see we're here as ex explorers uh, we'd like to see if we can converse with you so yeah this is the song right here you can get speaking to this right here it's fine it's okay this is a higher level entity so anomaly that's a higher level anomaly that we got so no copy it Ayan mo. Ayan mo kapre. Oh, 
Sorry guys, I'm uh, actually using Elo Elocana because sometimes you can call out to these guys. In truth, I don't believe they should be around here anyway. But since every everything everything in Hawaii is uh, mixed, the right in front of the right of front of London. You just pick into the device. I have no problem. It's not gonna hurt you. We just want to hear your voice come true. Or you can just uh, uh, manifest. It'd be better. It'd be better if you manifest behind us, though. <laughs> not in front of us. <laughs> and then in front of in back of us? No, I'm coming in right behind. Um, Which one? In the Kuku Kahi. Oh. 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 It's absorbing. It's absorbing the area. Can you see that again? Just in case if you guys seen that, uh, that was not a spirit, it was a person uh, crossing, like taking a shortcut, so yeah that's not, that's, that wasn't a ghost, it's one of our resident homeless. Hello guys. I see your right next to me. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Yep. Then I'll, I'll play the game too then. Aloha, sir. I'm your Kogi. You guys can speak into the, into the device. We'd love to hear your voice come on, come through. So, let's try and then. Hmm. Alright guys. Um, we're trying another new game. Well, you know what's the name. Just so you guys know, I'm actually pulling up the thermal camera. So if I do catch anything, I'll, I'll uh, post it. <laughs> okay. Can you can you repeat that again? Check on the radar. The direction I should be coming is. Oh, right in front of us. Play. Hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm 
I guess you don't want to talk into this uh, third box then. You guys don't like it? I'm not catching anything. I'm not catching anything. Oh, I caught something. So what's that cold spot all about? On a tree. Okay, recording. It's on the tree. It's a 54 degree item, and I think we caught a cup of it that's making the, the doing this stuff. Because look at the tree, you can see the tree, yeah? Mm -hmm. And there's a cold spot right there. Maybe a pottery. Then we'll like answer. Let's we'll see if anywhere else. Yeah, that's the cold spot. 50 degrees compared to the tree at 70. So, I'll let you guys decide when I post this what this is. So, And that's nothing. So we do have a cold spot in the tree, guys. So that's probably what was, was uh, causing a lot of trouble earlier. And he's watching right now. See? 50. So I don't know why there's, there's such a... We see you, by the way. Shine it. Doesn't show no up, up. Uh, you say follow that, that branch, go to the right, go to the right, up some more, go down right there. Is where you supposedly at now? There's a second one showing up, up higher, go to your right, go to your right somewhere. If you're right there, um, no go high, go up. Be right there. That's what the other one is. Oh, wow. huh. You see nothing, man. Yeah? I don't see nothing. I, we physically don't see anything, but the thermal actually sees something. I guess they don't want to talk on the, on the thing and they're just going to play around and stuff like um, It's currently right now 10.54 and uh, yeah um, the thermos is telling us I'll post this on top of the, the video but the thermal is actually saying there's two cold spots on the tree right now and we've had Two orbs, uh, two anomalies on the 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 ovulus show up, and right now, currently, right now, the ovulus. After we've done the thermal, I there's nothing. It's dead mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. no, they're pro they're probably too far, and they're hiding up there because they know where the distance now. And that <coughs> you, you turn on the pump. yeah, I turn off the pump. But uh, yeah, so we got semi semi uh, weird uh, thing. Well, I'd like to say, say thank you for at least giving us some kind of reading. Um, so yeah.
beautiful hair. Um, on behalf of Poke, who's with me right now, and uh, me, uh, this is another episode of OMG What That. Uh, hopefully, we'll see you on the next episode. Uh, till then, peace. And I'll see you later. Yeah.